we are doing the Haber-Bosch process for synthesis of ammonia. Uh, this is Gloriana Eliadillo, and the other group members are Natasha Davis, Bradley Miller, and Nicolas Osorio. Um, so the Haber-Bosch synthesis of ammonia takes place in a packed bed reactor through a mechanism that involves adsorption onto the surface of an iron catalyst, making it very hard to model. As you can see from the diagram, uh, the input into the packed bed reactor is uh, nitrogen and hydrogen in um, 3 to 1 ratio, and it reacts at uh, temperatures from 400 to 450 Celsius and from 100 to 200 ATM and using iron as a catalyst. Um, as you can see, the, after the packed bed reactor, um, the gases are cooled and ammonia turns into liquid. So for the introduction of the Haber-Bosch process, it was created due to the high demand of nitrogen-based products like fertilizers and explosives during the war in 1913. Uh, this process is uh, currently the standard for ammonia production. It is run at high pressures and high temperatures with an iron-based catalyst. And throughout this project, the weight of the catalyst is changed to assess the production of ammonia through a packed bed reactor. Uh, for the scale of the process uh, that we will model, it is a uh, industrial and factory scale. So for the objectives, the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen to become ammonia, um, the project will only cover the reactor part of the Haber-Bosch method. This reactor will carry a single pass conversion of 15% ammonia. And to model this, we utilize the MATLAB uh, based on an um, iron-based catalyst. Um, lastly, we utilize the Temkin and Pisa um, rate law in order for us to understand the synthesis and the composition of ammonia over iron catalysts. So without a catalyst, an increase of temperature will lower the activation energy uh, to produce the ammonia and, would, and it will also make um, the reaction to go faster, mm -hmm. but it will also drive the reverse reaction, which is undesired as we want um, the maximum production of ammonia that we can. So iron is used as a catalyst to reduce the activation energy required to complete the reaction. So the temperature doesn't need to be so too high and the reverse reaction is not favored. Uh, also, alloys has been tested as well as other metal catalysts, but iron catalysts reduce the activation energy the most and thus um, support the production of ammonia the best. For this reason, Iron is chosen to be the catalyst for the Haber-Bosch process. In the 1940s, Temkin and Paisev offered a satisfactory kinetic approach to the synthesis and decomposition of ammonia over iron catalysts. The rate law is shown below, as well as the equilibrium constant, which is represented in partial pressure of the product over the partial pressure of the reactants to their stoichiometric coefficients. This reaction is exothermic and has an enthalpy of negative 92.2 kilojoules per mole. An energy balance was conducted with the assumption that the reactor is diabetic and as complete conversion of both reactants is unrealistic, we found in some papers that the standard industry conversion is from 80 to 15 percent, so we use this in the, in the model for the MATLAB code and calculations. For the reactor conditions and assumptions, the pressure and temperature vary depending on the manufacturer, but it is usually from 100 to 200 ATM and 400 to 450 degrees Celsius. The catalyst was chosen to be iron. Um, it may vary depending on the manufacturer as well depending on what type of result you want but the process was also assumed to be an isothermal isobaric and a diabetic uh, process the high temperature and high pressure 
will mean that the first pass conversion is low, but it will drastically increase the reaction rate, um, which is what we want. Due to the complexity of this um, process, which is beyond the scope of the project, the reactor was conditioned to be ideal gas. Moreover, the Haber-Bosch process can utilize different catalysts, um, such as potas potassium hydroxide, in order to increase the speed of reaction rate without having to increase the temperature and pressure. So ideally, in a packed-based reactor, the temperature is set to low and the pressure is high, uh, which creates a shift of equilibrium towards the product. But since the product is going to be slow, um, we want to maximize the production of the desired product. So we would increase the temperatures, which means that it would increase the reaction rate. To provide an overview for the MATLAB model, essentially the main goal was to display a graph representing the flow rates as a function of catalyst weight. So um, we determined uh, a way to do this by using the solving algorithm learned in class, which is just to combine mole balances uh, with the rate law, which was the temkin paisev rate law. So these were solved with the differential func equation function solver ODE45. And, um, one thing we had to do in the MATLAB code specifically to prevent mathematical error was um, set the incoming amount of ammonia to nearly zero because an incoming amount of ammonia being zero would create a rate law that appeared to be undefined. When we As a standard starting place for most chemical engineering problems, we designed a simplified black box model to represent our process, which is here shown as A plus 3B going to 2C, uh, PBR with the iron catalyst. And I wanted to emphasize that we are considering this without the reverse reaction. Although ammonia synthesis is a reversible reaction for our process, we even calculated in MATLAB to prove that the, re the backwards reaction was um, negligible. So by only considering the forward reaction that uh, makes the conversion maximum equal to greater than or less than or equal to one. So um, our results show that on the next slide. When we initially programmed our MATLAB code and ran it with the K value, specific rate constant value found from literature of 2,300 moles per time atmosphere squared meter, squ meter cubed, uh, we got this graph on the top left, which shows um, not a realistic representation of what this process would look like. So through troubleshooting our code and um, changing different variables, we were able to pinpoint that this unrealistic, unrealistic result kind of came from the large specific rate constant. Um, this could be because the experimental data we base it off of could not be compatible with the way we modeled our system in MATLAB due to the simplifications we made. The graph on the top right is after we had adjusted the specific rate constant to be many magnitudes uh, smaller. When we adjusted the specific rate constant to be very small, you can see a more realistic, more what you would expect to see um, A and B, the reactants going down to zero at about nine kilograms of catalyst, um, and C, ammonia, the product going up to about 2000 moles per minute at that point, which would represent the complete conversion without taking into account the reversible reaction. In order to more accurately describe and represent the Hopper-Bosch process in a single pass, 
we allowed the rate of reaction to change as partial pressures change due to mole fractions changing as the reaction proceeds through the weight of the catalyst in the packed bed reactor. The ideal gas assumption is assumed in order to calculate partial pressures based on mole fractions. As reactants are consumed, the rate of reaction goes down. So we really wanted to include a accurate calculation for the energy balance. And for this reactor, um, a realistic industrial conversion is 15%. And um, when there's only a single pass occurring, like in our simplified model, then um, the temperature does not change, which is why we had it as isothermal for our single pass model. However, to calculate an accurate energy balance, and um, we decided to make an adiabatic assumption and use values that would represent a realistic production process for the Haber-Bosch process. So our final temperature out is um, 56,563 degrees. In conclusion, the model produced was able to make a graph of molar flows of each species at different weights of catalysts in the packed bed reactor. The model itself had many assumptions that limits its ability to accurately represent the Haber-Bosch process with equilibrium. The model did, however, accurately describe a single pass in the Haber-Bosch reactor. Industry typically uses a recycle. This can achieve an overall conversion around 97%. Equilibrium is an important consideration to achieve the highest conversion when using recycle.